Ntungamo is one of the districts contributing to Western coffee profiles and known for markets competitive robust. Meanwhile, for a long time, it has been earning peanuts of the market share due to poor farming methods, improper post-harvesting and lack of value addition earning as a kilo would go for as little as $2. This is, however, bound to change as government pledges $10 million US dollars to capitalize the market. The challenge I see with people here is only one. Fine, they harvest coffee, but they harvest standard coffee, which is not good. Those six hubs will be able to transform into those 12,000 coffee farmers. On this trip, we'll be visiting the other hubs, not just the Ntungamo hub that we're talking about. From here, we're going to Kigezi, we're going to Renzori, we're going to um, uh, Mitoma where there is another hub and then later on on the next league we'll be doing Zombo that is in Western Nile and we'll be doing Eastern Uganda. So that money is to help set up of those hubs to control quality on raw material. During the tour of the coffee factory, Honorable Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija, says that for a long time, Uganda's coffee has been lagging behind on the market compared to Vietnam, Ethiopian and other coffee growing countries. A couple of factors have been brought forward, including caution over coffee handling at different stages such as harvesting and storage. Uh, coffee. And also for having shall I say, discovered or implementing of, 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 of innovation, even producing things which we, for us here we don't know, but which come out of coffee. So I, I want to register out my head. I have asked him, he should write us a manual of how things are done. This, 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 this so that when we are talking to the people, we can talk very confidently and even leave that money with them. Because most of the real most of coffee farmers, including myself, we are totally ignorant about all these things that I've seen here today. So I encourage him, first of all, to continue uh, expanding this uh, enterprise, and eventually we shall see, sell the, the ideas to other people around the country. As to financing, there is already an arrangement with him. We are trying to get some money for him to complete this, this, this phase of this project, uh, inshallah, this money may be appearing or being available before the end of August to make money. The State Minister for Trade, Harriet Intavazi, further confirmed that if coffee is properly handled, premiums could rise up to $25, approximately 100,000 shillings and more. She also gave the farmers a clear example of Renzori Kokua farmers who have been able to reap big because of value addition. <laughs> Our coffee in market is known by its aroma. People from Finland and our neighboring countries have taken interest in it and are mixing it with theirs and putting it out on market. But the problem is that UK now knows that we are selling substandard coffee, which doesn't paint a good picture for us. The chairperson of Uganda Coffee Investment Consortium and CEO of Inspire Africa Coffee says the funding will help kickstart the process disp despite funding of 350 million US dollars needed at full capacity. Freeze dry soluble coffee technology, estimated at 55 million US dollars, has been a notably costly factor. Committed investment of 22 million euros has been registered as an onboard investor and 20 acres of land secured in Mukono. Uganda will be the first to have the free dry technology in Africa. Vietnam, we started growing coffee. We're looking at uh, about 10 million dollars support, but the total project cost is 350 million dollars. So we're starting with the first phase. And this support friends may not just unnecessarily come from government we have our own i mean the 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 hub just you've been visiting is over 10 million dollars in investment so 
the consortium, the, the, the friends or the companies that are in the consortium, they already have on ground and doing something. So the total cost of what we are starting with about $50 million. And that's why, I mean, this is about people's brands, companies' brands. The local leaders have been brought forth at every stage of production as skills and better handling practices are emphasized. Tungamo District LC5 is optimistic about such visits as they will close in to value addition calls. Yes, now we, we've invested in coffee so much because we have around 85 coffee hara, coffee haras. And now, for our case now, we are minding about value addition because we want screen 18. And then the screen 18 we want because in Tungamo district, eh, we have the best quality coffee in the whole country. So what we are trying to do is want to have that screen 18, even we want... The 10 million injection is bound to operationalize the tertiary coffee processing hub in Tungamo that was opened in December last year and five coffee production hubs in the main coffee growing areas of Renzori, Mitoma, Chigezi, Kapchorwa and Central Uganda. About 100,000 farmers have been targeted in this drive. Urana Habge, Masekatsime for Smart24 TV, Business Today.